Hi gentlemen, welcome back. Today I present you Solid State Electricity Generator by Graham Gunderson. Of course, I don't have a model which I hold in my hands, but yeah, because I just do design. But this time I will try to explain in more detail how this is supposed to work. So, for the start, let's start from describing magnetism on atomic level. Alright, so this image presents an atom and its nucleus with protons and neutrons and, elect and electrons which are orbiting around this nucleus. Okay, now these electrons now can move in two ways around this nucleus. So one is, the second image, it's, it's, uh, they spin around themselves, which is called the electron spin, and they uh, spin around the nucleus, which is the orbiting around the nucleus. So exactly this electron spin uh, and this uh, orbiting around the nucleus give the rise to magnetization of a material. So these electrons have a spin in one direction and we are able to make it in other direction by applying a great amount of power. So some materials are of course stubborn, so they, they, we need a very high energy to, to change the electron spin and other need very less, yeah, such as uh, ferromagnets. Yeah? So steel can be really easily magnetized, but it cannot preserve this magnetiz magnetization for a long time, like permanent magnets, for example. Okay, so that was description of magnetization on the atom level. So basically we have an atom, we have its electrons, which have an electron spin, which can be in one or other direction, and we have the movement of this uh, electron around the atom nucleus, which gives a rise to this magnetization. So let's now try get to the images and try to explain this electrostatic solid state electricity generator by Graham Gunderson. Okay, so this is it, a very very simple design, uh, too good to be true, or too simple to be true that this can really work and give on our output some, <laughs> some actually some power. Yeah? Alright, so let's try to describe this component. So this would be, the, the outside is the ferromagnetic core, from the steel core, so easily magnetized material. Uh, on this ferromagnetic core there are two sets of four magnets, totally eight magnets equally separated if we look from the up. Yeah? Uh, so that would be our second um, uh, source of magnetization. And then we have uh, two coils. We have the primary coil for which we'll need an outside energy source and we have the output coil. So this secondary coil is the output coil on which we will get our free energy or electricity. Okay, now try to see, let's now try to explain what will happen in this ferromagnetic core and how we will get an energy on the output if we applied some current on the input. For this I prepared another image, so a static image with some lines which describe the magnetic flux. So when we apply the, the current on the primary coil, in this ferromagnetic core will be induced magnetic flux. These blue lines represent this, this flux. Second source of magnetization or of the magnetic flux will be our permanent magnets. And these uh, black lines present these magnetization lines. Yeah? So here there will be some kind of curved because of this primary flux and here on the other direction. It will suck down in the down magnets. And uh, now you can see that by all this uh, movement of, of uh, circular movement of this uh, flux, we will get an, uh, let's say, a virtual electromotive force created in the secondary coil, these red lines, which will give our free energy on the output. Yeah. So that will be a, a forward magnetic flux, which will induce a current because we, connect, we will connect uh, the, the output to the, uh, to the load. Yeah. So that would be it. So this is the setup and very strangely there is a lot of uh, details explaining on the atomic level in the pattern how this really works. But basically because this, uh, this flux, magnetic flux, uh, which will be, cre which will be, let's say, virtualized, we will virtualize the spinning of these magnets, of this, like they are spinning on the, uh, in classical gen. Okay, and down in the description below you can find an, an patent uh, link with detailed description. Please uh, read it if you are interested, if you are not, don't. And that's it, that's, a, that's really easy to try actually. And, and some kind of uh, 
on, on this input we need some, I think, um, capacitor and some things, but it's really, really simple and no uh, special com other components are needed for this to operate. Yeah. So it's almost unbelievable that this can work, but maybe it can, I really cannot say. So viewers, thank you for watching, until next video, stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.